Hi folks, Matt Easton, Scholar Gladiatoria here. So um, I've been asked to go back and maybe do a few more tutorial um, type videos, uh, which I will do. This is just a very brief one, but it's for those of you who are interested in the longsword and maybe don't have um, a club to, to train with and maybe trying to learn at home. Um, when I'm teaching beginners longsword, one of the fundamental things that I spend, I have to spend quite a lot of time correcting on people, is how they cut with longsword. Okay, so the first thing to, to say and to remind people um, is that the longsword positions, most of them, start from a position of retracted hands. So say I'm facing that way, my opponent's over there, this position, okay, or this position, or this position, have the hands more or less level with my body. Okay? There, um, there are positions indeed where I have the hands um, in, front of, uh, in front of the body in various ways, okay? but um, a lot of the positions that you cut from start from a position where the hands are level with the body. One of the main reasons for this, um, there, are other re there are various reasons, but one of the main reasons is that with medieval unarmoured sword fighting, your hands are incredibly vulnerable. Okay? So what you see in um, tournament sparring a lot of time, because people are wearing big thick gloves and they're not maybe as worried about being hit on the hands as they should be, and imagine my opponent is over there, okay, is instead of these positions and here, you start to see them creep with their hands forward. Okay? Now that's not per se wrong. However, in, certainly in the system I practice, um, and in uh, quite, quite a few of the longsword systems and, and treatises, um, this is a, a flaw and a fault. And if you're fighting someone and you see that they start to creep forward with their hands a lot when they're, when they're fighting, um, hit them in the hands. It's as simple as that. Okay, there's a basic rule, and this is, this is mentioned by Manchilino in uh, 1531. He says, you, you hit the thing which offends you the most and which is closest. What offends you the most on the opponent's body? Their hands, because their hands holds the weapon and, and strikes at you, and is the closest thing to you in this case. Okay? So, um, rule number one is, uh, when you're in these sort of positions, keep your hands either there's a general rule, either protected by the point advanced in front of them, okay, because having the hands in front of, sorry, having the point in front of the hands to an extent protects the hands because a person can't easily strike past the point because they, there's a danger of them just walking onto it. But if the point is not forward and the point is back in some way, then you keep the hands no further forward than your body. Okay, keep them back, keep them protected. So the basic rule, uh, and this doesn't, it's not just longsword incidentally, this applies to Messer uh, as well. Um, the rules change slightly for sword and buckler because the buckler protects the line to your hand a lot of the time. Um, but a basic rule is when you're sparring, when you're fighting, keep your hands back until you're either striking, okay, so the person has to deal with the strike at that point, they can't just hit you in the hand, they could but they get hit in the head at the same time, um, so keep the hands back until you're either striking or defending, okay, and every time after you've defended and maybe you riposte, you then get the hands back and into a safe place again, okay, so Medieval sword play, very important to keep the hands safe. You do not have a complex hand guard like a sabre does or a rapier to protect your hands. And you're not wearing gauntlets because that would be armoured fighting, a completely different style of fighting. Okay? You have either gloved leather hands or bare hands and they are very, very vulnerable. Someone takes a couple of fingers off one of your hands, you can't use your sword properly anymore, you're going to die soon afterwards because they're going to kill you. Okay? So your hands are very, very precious. They control your weapon. Okay, cheers.